shall appear from a far eastern land across the sea. A young man who has yet to know his potential. This potential is a power that I think I may beat it tonight. destroy him or realize his will. His courage shall determine his fate. The path he must traverse fraught with adversity, I await whilst praying. For this destiny predetermined since ancient times. A pitch black night unfolds with the morning star as its only light. And thus the saga begins. begins. Oh man. Rescue Nozomi from the motorcycle. From the uh Mad Angels. Took her on the motorcycle ride back home. Got home very late. I think like at five in the morning. So if memory serves me correct, on this day, I get fired. And that pretty much leads me to the to the end of the game. With the saying my goodbyes, um, getting the move from Tom, and then doing the 70-man battle. That's pretty much it. I think, that's, if, if memory serves me correct, that's pretty much what happens with the game. Kind of surreal to be at this at this point now. All right here I go. I'm pretty sure that's like your last day or, or the last ne next to last day. Zomi is fine. Had the promised here I beat up Chen Guizang. Tomorrow at 10 p.m. Go to warehouse number nine. Last time with Fuxan. Yeah, this is it. So yeah, the supervisor tells me after the ruckus or getting there late, he's gonna fire me. Tom, hey, Ryo, working hard at the harbor today. Yeah, 
What's wrong? You seem kind of blue. No, I'm all right. Okay. Tell you what. You come on by later. Sorry, teaches me the move. We'll treat you to lunch. Okay. This is where I get fired. Young man, have a seat. Sure. He never calls me by his by my name. Just young man. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to ask you to resign. Am I fired? Yeah, I'm afraid so. Why? Uh, you see, there's been a mess of trouble since you started. Now, I know it ain't all your fault, but, well... And? When trouble starts affecting my company, that's a problem. You know what I mean. Yes, I understand. Thank you for everything. Mm. <laughs> well, there goes that. So, save. I definitely want to save. I should check with everybody. Promised to have lunch with Tom. I got fired from my job. So now what I need to do is I remember hearing that there was a special cutscene with Nozomi. I've never seen it in person. But in this quick time that you have until 12, I have to call... Nozomi, and then take the bus to go see her. It's literally the only time I have. But since I saved, just for shits and giggles, I'm going to check. <laughs> Poor he's happy. Getting married. What's up? Just strolling and patrolling. How's work, bro? Say, is you bringing home the bacon? Yeah, just a bit. What? Bro, you gotta be more positive. Pull them bootstraps and all. Girl be a rooting for you, you know. So don't let me down, bro. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Corey, he's, he's happy he's getting married. He got his gal. Yep, it's just the same tapes. Excuse me. Yes, what is it? Whoa, how nice. Sorry. All right. So you know what? Let me reload. No tapes. That's fine. So I want to see if I can get that Nozomi cutscene, because that'd be great. The thing is, do I have to call her? Do I have to take the bus? I think I need to call her to initiate the, the scene. So she's 22550. Technically, she should be at the flower shop, but, you know, whatever. Hello? Leo? How are you? Are you okay? I, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Are you sure? Yes, I'm fine now. That's good. Thanks for rescuing me. It was nothing. To me, you're... What? I... You're a really good friend. Oh. Thanks, Rio. You yeah. blew it. I've got to go. My grandmother needs to use the phone. Sure. Bye now. Oh, Rio, you blew it. You blew it. All right. Well, I'm going to see if I can have enough time to see Nozomi. Get away for the bus. 
It would literally give me an hour to go see her. So I just need to see her at the flower shop and have a conversation with her. Because today is what, Tuesday? So unfortunately it's February. Uh, because it's February and because I spent so many days looping the uh, warehouse number three gig, unfortunately Shenmue 2, I'm going to miss out on an event, which is the little girl May Fang's birthday, because you need to do that. I think you need to beat this game by January 20th at the latest, so unfortunately I'm going to miss that. That sucks, but, you know, when you're going for 100%, it literally becomes quite impossible to do that in time. All right, so the bus should be arriving any second now. There we go. So I should get there by... 10 to 50, 10 to 55, 10 to 53. Oh my god, 11. Oh, I'm not going to have enough time to see her. Yeah, it's going to say 12. Jesus. As long as I'm in the middle of a cutscene, it won't kick me out, so there's that. Nozomi. Ryo, thanks for coming for me. No problem. If you hadn't come to rescue me... Of course I would have. Yeah. Can we double on the motorcycle again? Sure. Really? Yeah. Nozomi. Ryo, wanna go out to a movie with me? Sure. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Nozomi. Ryo, mind if I come over to your house sometime? Sure. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Nozomi. That's that's romance. Ryo, wanna go out to a movie? Sure. Really? Yeah. I will her grandmother thank me. Excuse me. Oh, thanks. Eh? I was just thinking happy thoughts for Nozomi. I see. You be nice to her, you hear? Yes. All right. That's pretty pretty much cements it. Yoshia-san. Oh, Dio. I'm not sure if I should tell you. What's the matter? It's Tom. He looked really depressed. If you see Tom, be sure to tell him that I'm worried about him, will you? I see. It's because Tom's leaving. Excuse me. Hey, what can I do for you? Oh, hey, that guy at the hot dog stand is acting strange lately. I see. Uh, he a friend of yours, eh? Uh-huh. Why don't you ask him what's up? I see. I see. This guy's usually pretty nice. Hey, what's up? Got a minute? Come back later, will you? I see. I see. Twelve thirty's lunch. Look at the time. <laughs> this is where he teaches me the move. <laughs> Hey, Rio! Tom. It's cold. I'll get you some coffee, okay? Hey. I don't feel like coffee today. Hey, All right, Rio, can't skip this. For it teach me to kick. Tom, what was that leg move? A friend taught me this. It's a tornado kick. You want me to teach you? Yeah, teach me. Okay, it's 
It's your lucky day! First, the music! First, I'll teach you the steps. You watch carefully, okay? Step forward, step again, then kick, okay? Forward, forward, kick. Very simple, okay? First, try the steps. You take two steps toward me. Okay? Okay. Okay, ma, nice steps. Next, after the second step, kick. Now, Rio, you try it, okay? Okay, very good. Pretty good for the first time. But that's just like you, Rio. Thanks, Tom. No, no, no. This is how it's done, okay? Hmm? Two steps forward then. First and kick. second kick. Ooh, two this part. is the real tornado kick. Now, Rio, you try it, okay? Yeah, boy. Perfect. You got the rhythm now. Thanks, Tom. That tornado kick is very powerful, okay? This kick is perfect for when you're surrounded by multiple opponents. Do you want to practice longer? Yeah, we're gonna quit because I'm not gonna save this. No, that's okay. Okay! You mastered the leg move great. You're a good teacher, Tom. Thanks. So I do want to go home and talk to Ine-san, but Tom is moving to the U.S. I remember this. Um, I got something I need to tell you, Ryo. Tell me what? Tomorrow, I go back to America. What? All of a sudden? Not suddenly. I've been planning to for a while. Tom. Ryo, why are you going on your trip? Uh, I... I bet it has something to do with your father. Yeah. I thought so. Me? I'm going back to my home. And you'll be leaving soon, too. Nobody can stop you. Tom. Even though we part ways, you'll still be one of my best friends. You're mine, too. <laughs> yeah, boy. Today's the last day for Tom's hot dogs. Get them while you can. Yeah, I'll have one. All right. So I'm going to do this over. If it lets me, because, yeah, it may just start doing cutscenes all day. So that's pretty much the end of the game. My friend. Tom. So I do want to see what Ine-san says. It's already 7 o'clock. God damn, it's just... It's just going, man. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to save. Holy crap. You sure got guts coming here. This way. Follow me. I'll have to see how it is on YouTube, but good thing I got to talk to the Sony. Wait here. Is Guizong coming here? He passes through here on his way home from work. I need to fight Guizang. 
It's tough too. I'm out of here. Remember if it's a fight or a quick time. Hazuki, why are you here? Guizan, I wanna fight you. What? What are you talking about? Ready? What? This is gonna be a pain. Pretend to lose. Say what? Terry will take me to land D. You dressed up punk like Terry? You'd be better off losing. Lose to you? Go down before you get hurt. Gotcha. What? By a kick like that? <laughs> you call that a kick? <laughs> Oh shit, Jesus Christ. So you're serious? You aren't? You're on! Bring it on! <sighs> Alright, Hazuki. Well, come on! Yeah, it's a 70 man battle. Here it is. You know, you're not too bad. Uh, nor are you. It's my lucky day. I'll get rid of both of you in one shit. I didn't realize that was happening. Shit. Uh, all right, Hazuki. Well, come on. That was my fault. <clears throat> you know, you're not too bad. Uh, nor are you. It's my lucky day. I'll get rid of both of you at one time. Just as I suspected. Seventy man battle. Can you move? Uh, let's settle our dispute later. You're on. Oh boy. That's low, Terry. I will make you pay. <laughs> you like me that much? Let me invite you to hell. Wait! The main event, baby. Luckily, these thugs are pretty disposable. Please, I does help. Name? Save your complaints for later. Fine. Watch yourself. You too. <sighs> Okay, who's first?
Get out of here. some tougher guys. Out of here. That's the Hazuki style. Out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. All tuckered out, are we? Watch yourself. Shall I take them all on? That's it. Yeah, let's go. Full life bar, baby. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Oh man, I remember that. Fuck. This guy was a bruiser. Shh. 
shit. Where the hell's Greetang? God damn it. Come on. Get out of here. Shit. Shit. We sang, I could use your help, buddy. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, look at his neck. Jesus. <clears throat> All right, Terry. Hazuki, stand back. This one is mine. Just who the hell you think you're dealing with? Yeah. I'll take this. Gotta learn to fight fair. Oh shit. So much for Terry being a big shot. Where is Lanty? Never give up to you. Tell me that creepy skinhead. He took him out to the ship. Chai. Too bad. Huh? You, you want him that bad? You better start swimming. After all that, still didn't get Landy. You're going after him? Well, I just can't give up. But how can I? I'll talk to my father. Hmm? I'll ask my father to help you out. Really? Contact me later, okay? Guizan. What? Thank you. 
Thank you. <clears throat> no. That's my line. This is it. After the 70 man battle, it's <clears throat> just talk to Master Chen. Then you gotta get the ticket. And then fight Chai on the docks, and that's it. That's the game. So close. Anyways, I will be right back. I'm gonna get a drink. Hey, James. What's up, Jameson? Or Ryan, should I say? My name is James on... Plus, uh, can I call you James? <laughs> I will just call you Ryan. What's up, Ryan? I'm actually... Uh, <clears throat> I just finished a big battle in Shenmue, which is a 70-man uh, battle. I'm literally almost done with the game. It's... Uh, it's just cutscenes pretty much from this point, outside of one extra battle. But other than that, I'm looking at the end. This is the end game. So, it's pretty quite easy. It's, uh, so don't mind me if, uh, if I get emotional. As, uh, Shenmue is that game that does that to me. But I hope you're well. I hope things are alright with you, man. I'm great. Finished work and waiting for lunch. 
Oh yeah, the time difference. I always forget. I was your day. It was good. Uh, actually, got out of the house um, and stopped by my nephew's house because it's his birthday tomorrow, and my niece had her birthday on Friday, so stopped by to uh, from the you know from the car from the distance to say hello to them and talk to them for a bit. So it was uh, it wasn't too bad. But yeah, here we go. The end game. This is literally the final day of the game. I no longer have a job. <clears throat> Gonna talk with Master Guizang. Tom went home to the United States. I defeated Thierry, but Landy's gone to Hong Kong. I'm gonna see if Master Chip can hook me up with a ticket. This is the final walk. And if it's birthday, that's awesome. You should fire a foam cannon of presents from a distance. I'm actually. It's not much, but for me. Sorry, farewell. This is gonna. Um, I'm actually gonna have someone drive a Mario Kart. Themed car by his house tomorrow. Come back in one piece. So give him a little, uh, little surprise. Goodbye, Fuxan. Goodbye, Ine-san. Goodbye to the Hazuki residence. This is it. It's already starting to hit me. This is when he does the slow walk through the town. There's Ine-san. Praying for my good fortune. Here it is. Just the big walk. It's amazing how a game like this can uh, get you so attached to a relatively small town and its characters, its inhabitants. And here it goes. The final walk through Dobuita Street. Ever since I played this game in 2000, that's 20 years to, uh, it's been a dream of mine to visit the street. I don't know if I ever will get that chance, but you're just walking around and seeing everyone do their thing. Look, that's the lady who jogs. She's on her bike here. And it's just, you're a part of this. I just discovered how to record PC gameplay with the game bar feature, so I'm recording games for archive purposes. Nice, dude. Nice. And here we go. The final walk. There's always this one shot right here with the arcade, where the background it like zooms as you're walking behind it and such a quaint little city but there we are right there just as you enter the city the town you you leave it It's crazy. Yes, I'm a moron. I mean, there's other ways to record gameplay, 
but you found one way. So here I meet with Master Chen. Master Chen gets me the ticket for the boat. But there's one more fight with, with Chai. And that's going to be a pain in the ass. But I'm pretty sure I can do it over if I need to. Your foolishness knows no bounds, eh? I believe Master Shen teaches me a move, too, if I remember Thank correctly. Thank you for arranging my trip to Hong Kong. Thanks to you, the long jaw was thwarted. It was the least I could do. Thank you very much. You're too reckless. It worries me, so... I'm going with you. What do you mean? I cannot allow you to go alone. Besides, we also need to know what Lan Di is doing. That's the gist of it. The diving swallow style should be useful on your journey. It's the last move to learn. A style from the Hebei province in use since the Song Dynasty. I will teach you its most sacred move, the Swallow Flip. Hui Xiang. Yes. You utilize your opponent's attack to flip them. First, I will explain the basic form. Watch closely. You take one step backwards to parry the opponent's attack. Then focus power in your arms to throw your opponent off balance. Immediately kick their legs out and flip. In actual combat, you'd strike here. The throw alone won't incapacitate your opponent. First, try to execute the proper form. Shift your weight while taking one step back. One step back. So you've acquired the form. Next, as you drop, use your arms to throw your opponent off balance. Well then, give it a try. Yes, that is correct. Kick your opponent's legs out and flip. Well then, give it a try. Yes, that's the proper form. But to truly master the swallow flip, you must be able to anticipate your opponent's attack. Guizhang, spar. What? Practice is required to master the attack quickly. Oh boy. You must attack him in earnest. I will. Begin. First try. Excellent. Well executed. You have more ability than I thought. No, sir. You're a superior instructor. This technique works best when you can anticipate your opponent's attack. Do you what games are you playing right now, Ryan? To master the timing of the attack. Yes, I could practice more for sure. Yes, please. Very well. Gui Zhang. Yes. Oops. It seems you've learned the attack. Yes. This technique works best when you can anticipate your opponent's attack. Do you wish to practice further to master the timing of the attack? One more time, yes. <coughs> yes, please. Very well. Gui Zhang. Yes.
It seems you've learned the attack. All right. Yes. This technique works best when you can <coughs> anticipate your opponent's attack. Do you wish to practice further to master the timing of the attack? I think we're good. No, thank you. I think I can manage now. Very well. Then there is nothing more that I can do. I am in your debt. Here comes Chai. You're going? Yes. There he is. Look out. And he gets injured. So then he can't go. You're not going to Hong Kong because the great Chai will defeat you. Son of a bitch. Still susceptible to this. Let me regain my stamina. He just blocks everything, so that's the pain with him. He's a little bitch. Grabbing him is not happening. I said grabbing him is, is pointless. Shit.
Come on, fucker. Let me regain my stamina. Just circle around, let me regain to a good point. So I can fuck with you. Alright. Now we're better. James on Pliskin? What a stupid name. <laughs> I see uh, you have an identity crisis there. Alright, now I can fuck you. Fuck out of here. Got you with a throw too. Yeah, fuck you. What are you doing here? Where's Landy? The Landy Summer is sailing the sea on a ship bound for Hong Kong. So Got him on my first try. He's already left for Hong Kong. <clears throat> Landy. You son of a bitch. Get your landy. Instead, I will introduce you to someone I know can be trusted. Tao Li Shou, one of Hong Kong's elder masters. The address <coughs> is in there. Thank you very much. There it is. It's the end. Get on the boat. And, and that's it. for uncharted territories not knowing what's next Nozomi is she praying for me? Nozomi 
Oh, Ryo. I scared you? No, just spooked. You know, it's kind of funny. Funny? See, I was just making a wish for you. And you suddenly appeared. A wish for me? You are going to Hong Kong, aren't you? How did you know? I finally made Fukusan tell me. You've been so preoccupied lately. Mr. Oso, what's up, man? Is that so? Is he, are you on Periscope? So I see the icon. Stop you. I know you well enough to know I can't. Have you ever played Shenmue before? I'm hoping it will keep you safe. At least that's what I've been wishing and willing it to do. Mizume. I'm so glad I was able to give it to you. Uh oh, Mizumi's sad. So busy lately. Getting ready to return to Canada, right? Oh yeah, you're leaving for Canada soon. Come on, come on, make your move. Well, I gotta go home. God damn it, Rio. Yeah. Well, be careful. Okay. Rio, you look at that. She wants. She wants you. We're both leaving Japan. I wish we had more time. Ah, uh, Mizami. <laughs> this is it. This is where the credits start rolling. You have to remember this game came out ninety nine. The scope of this was incredible, and it still is with one of the most beautiful songs ever written. And thus the saga begins. He comes from a far eastern land across the ocean. A young man who has yet to realize his own potential. This potential is a power that can both destroy him as well as ensure his will is realized. Perhaps he will achieve the balance that will mark him a man of courage. The path he must traverse is fraught with adversity. This is exactly what Chef Wa says in the, the opening cutscene. I await whilst praying for the realization of this destiny predetermined since ancient times. A pitch black night unfolds. And, and thus the saga stars, its only light. begins. And thus the saga begins. Shenhua. There it is.
this could have been an animated movie and it would have been a classic. Buster, what's up, man? So funny you mentioned that because actually in Japan, they did take all of the cutscenes in the game and they made it into something called Shenmue the Movie, which uh, when Shenmue 2 came out for the original Xbox, it had two discs. One was the game and the other disc was a DVD called Shenmue the Movie. So they translated it and brought it to the U.S. because, you know, again, for the people who didn't play it on Dreamcast, there was a way to catch up with the story. So they did exactly just that. And there I go, there, there's Shenmue. Just, uh, not very talkative right now, because it is rather emotional for me. In many ways, Shinmu is, uh, has been very personal to me. And to have completed it again after uh, over 10 years, it really, especially with the perspective I have now, with uh, the experiences of life, um, to see it with the different eyes is uh, quite the thing to behold. So yeah, <laughs> I'm emotional right now. You know, it's hard to say why you tear up for a game, but a lot of pieces of art do affect us in different ways, be it music, be it art, be it film, be it games, you know? And Shenmue is one of those games that I played for the first time <clears throat> half of my life ago. So, it, uh, it taught me many things about patience and social interaction in, in all of its stilted dialogue, but even behind that, um, it had so much to offer. So because of that, it, uh, it always stayed near and dear to, to my heart. And it was quite surreal to experience this yet again. So, it's been a wild ride, but this is Shedmu. Completed. And the soundtrack of Shen goes without saying, it is incredible. But when the game was released, they made an alternate version, which is a fully orchestral soundtrack, which is even more incredible. And of course, Corey Marshall as Ryo Hazuki. Oh, it's quite uh, amazing to think that Shenmue 3 is real. An 18 year fight for it to have happened and uh, it's here fortunately I still haven't played it yet but my whole thing is to complete one and two before I'm ready emotionally as well as personally to undertake that task but uh, it surely was a hell of a ride to complete this all over again and to do it 100% this time. You know, because when I would play it on Dreamcast, it was always a little bit here, a little bit there, but never, uh, I never had the time or the drive to to grind enough to get everything in one shot. Because again, Shenmue is, there is no New Game Plus, so whatever you complete that first time around, you would then transfer that save to Shenmue 2, or you would do it over again, but none, nothing carries over from playthrough to playthrough. So it's really uh, quite the task to 100% everything in Shenmue.
So I hope for those of you who did watch and watched off and on throughout, what is this, playthrough 64, that it was uh, a worthwhile endeavor. Thank you so much to Yu Suzuki for having the vision to uh, create this amazing, amazing piece of gaming history. For setting the blueprint for what open world games as we know them now is to set the template. I highly suggest, Buster, if, uh, if you don't want to play this, definitely, if you can, seek out a copy of Shenmue 2 on Xbox, the original Xbox, and make sure it comes with the DVD called Shenmue the Movie. That way you could pop in the movie, and it pretty much takes all the cutscenes and puts them into a theatrical form. Obviously, thank you to Sega for, at the time, for having the, the faith in you, Suzuki, to create a game like this, which was unheard of at the time, to have a game with so much content, so much voice acting, so much life, so many technological advancements for its time completely unheard of. Unfortunately, Sega's not like that anymore. I would definitely watch the movie. English dubbed, of course. Yeah, uh, well, in on the Xbox version, it's only English dubbed. But obviously in Japan, when they released it on actual DVD, it was Japanese dubbed. The good thing about this version, the HD port, you can switch if you want between the English and Japanese stuff. So, obviously, for nostalgia for me, even though technically speaking, the English stuff is terrible, it's terrible in all of the right ways. Uh, much like Resident Evil 1 or Resident Evil 2. So, Definitely, I'll play it again in Japanese, but at my own time. Again, you have to remember, this is 1999. There really weren't games that were cinematic like this. It just did not exist. And this pretty much opened the doors as far as giving developers the confidence and the idea to brainstorm such a thing. And then here is where I save. So I'm actually going to save on two. Because if I go back to one, I, if I wanted to, I could go back to the... Uh, 70-man battle. Now, the thing is, I don't know how it is in this HD port, but on the Dreamcast, what would happen is the main menu would change where you would unlock the ability to do the 70-man battle on your own, independent of the game. So whether or not it does this on this HD version, I don't know. Sadly, most games don't have any life to them anymore. The companies screw their series over and expect people to buy each installment. Yeah, well, it's it's the industry is a different beast than what it was back then. You know, it's uh, at the time back then, even even nineteen ninety nine two thousand, there was still that brainstorming that that idea that everyone every company wanted to uh, advance the industry, bring it forward in different ways. Now that's not the case. It's just, let's stay complacent, much like Hollywood, and let's keep cranking out sequel after sequel after sequel, or reboot after reboot after reboot, without really taking what made the original successful and bringing it to another level. 
instead we're just we're, we're sticking with the status quo because we know people will buy it regardless and we don't need to challenge them with new gameplay innovations or things like that uh, why do that you know why waste manpower to do that so unfortunately it's this the state of things nowadays Luckily, some games do change the menu once you beat the game the first time. Yeah, so on Dreamcast it did. We'll find out if it did it here. <clears throat> there it is. 70-man battle. All right. All right, that's awesome that they kept that. That is, uh... That's very cool. That is cool. Unfortunately, one of the things that was lost here on the Dreamcast, there was a uh, the game was four discs. So on disc four, it was the passport disc. And what would happen is the passport disc was uh, a way for you with your save on your VMU to watch <clears throat> any cutscenes that you un unlocked previously. You were also able to look at specific uh, like character bios where like Ryo, Nozomi, Mark, uh, and some other people would tell you because it was like a tech demo it would like show off the character models because again at the time you'd remember the character models were like the highest quality ever at the time so like it was a way for them to speak to you the gamer to show you like just explain different aspects of the gameplay and the story while also showing off the technology. Um, it was also the way for you to watch your inventory with collectibles and upload high scores for like the uh, Space Harrier, the Hang On, the 70 Man Battle. You were able to like upload your times. Unfortunately, that's all gone. Um, there were also biographies, I believe, biographies for all of the NPCs, which is insane. Like, the game has hundreds of NPCs, and Yu Suzuki actually took the time to create a biography for every single NPC in the game. And, you, and that passport disc is where you would access that. So, that's nuts. Wow, it's only one o'clock, and I... I completed Shenmue. That's wild. That is wild. Wow. Extremely surreal to think. Chris. Oh my god, Chris. You missed it, dude. I beat Shenmue. I beat it. Um... So let me, let me bring you up to speed. So two days ago, I played, and I ended up uh, rescuing Nozomi, because she was on the motorcycle. Or not, I saved her with the motorcycle, brought her back. So I stopped there. I got home, saved. And basically, after that, everything just boom, 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 boom. You, you go back to work, you get fired. Uh, Tom tells you as he has to go to the United States. Uh, you learn a move from him, and I got to actually, I got to talk to Nozomi one last time, and Ryo was this close to telling him he loved her, but he didn't do it, the little bitch. And then I left, I said my goodbyes, in Dobuita and all that, and ended up uh, doing the 70-man battle, fought Terry, and... Then Master Guizang bought me a ticket to go to Hong Kong, fought Chai one last time in the harbor, and then I left, and that was it. So yeah, Shenmue 1 is complete. Obviously Shenmue 2 is, is next. Um, but, uh, I did want to do something that was uh, that was like an in-between game, just to like detox from Shenmue because it's been eighty plus hours. Let me see. 
99 hours, according to Steam. I've played Shenmue for 99 hours. So, I do want to reload just a little bit. So, I was looking at my Steam inventory, and I was thinking of something that's that's different. Um, I was thinking of Bulletstorm. Bulletstorm, I've never played. Never played it. And I think Bulletstorm is epic, right? It's probably going to force me to get the Epic Games launcher. Collectibles are no joke. Yeah. It is done. Shadow 1 is 100% complete. Is that a game like XCOM? No. Uh, XCOM is a strategy game, so Bulletstorm is a first-person shooter. Um, and this came out... Oh, man, I don't even know what year it came out. 2011, maybe? 2012? And it was from Epic Games. It was like after Gears, Gears of War 2, I think? And it's like a first-person shooter, but with like a post-apocalyptic look. Um, so I'm going to give that a whirl. I still I need to download it right now. But uh, I wonder if it's going to let me play, because I would imagine the game is on the Epic Games launcher. So apparently, the game is uh is funky. Uh, ah, it's one of those games for Windows titles. Oof! All right, that's bad. This could be interesting. Would you have to download? Yeah, so I'm actually downloading it right now on Steam. Uh, it's about six gigs, but I'm I'm downloading it right now at uh, 21 megabits a second. So it should take about four minutes. Um, but then I need to install it. But then I need to make sure that the game works because apparently it's Windows Live. But. Okay. Okay, so the game is capped at 60 frames, uh, so I'll need to remove that, because uh, that's, that's pretty lame. But uh, I'm going to give it a test run and see if it even works. And we'll see. That's really all I can, uh, can do at this point. If the game doesn't work, then I'll have to move on to something else. But... Uh, Placement.dll. Okay. So then I'll need to download this, put it into the extract, the download installation location for the game. Okay. But yeah, Chris, I'm so sorry you missed it, dude. Uh, 
I started right at 12, so literally an hour ago. And that was the game. Very, very surreal to uh, to think that it's, it's over. 100 hours later, and it's over. So, pretty wild. And you missed it. I got a little choked up at the end. It, uh, it always happens. With Shenmue, it's just, uh, it can't be helped. Extract to, okay, so I need to open this. Would you have to download that? Yes, yeah, so I'm downloading, downloading that little people. It's a tiny, tiny file. So the notification, I'm going to make it in time. At least I'll be able to experience it on my own when I'm done with it. That's good, man. That's good. I mean, thank you for uh, for even being here, you know, for this crazy, wild ride that is, uh, that is Shenmue. Patches. Hmm. Well, games for Windows is no longer a thing. I'm glad I looked up Shenmue that day. Appreciate it, dude. Uh, you, yeah, you're definitely a big help with that. Like, there's no. No ifs, ands, or buts about that. All right, so bullet storm downloaded. I need to go to the local files. Steam bullet storm, and then I need to binaries Win thirty two. All right, so I need to put these files in there. One, and paste them in there. Okay. And then removing the, the frame rate cap. Open user profile documents, my games, plus storm. <laughs> All right, I think I might need to install the game first. Glad my luck could be of help. It definitely was, Chris, without a doubt. Yes, let's do that. Let the game install. But, uh, yeah. So, first I'm going to see if this even works. There's a chance the game may not work. Because, one, it's technically not supposed to be on Steam anymore because it should be on the Epic Games launcher. But you missed the 70 man battle, dude. That was wild. They did do it on my first try, but I did have some problems with the last guy. Because he is tough. Five, six. And if this fails, I can just go back to Bomberman. 
Or I do have the King of Fighters on the computer, and I could play that for a bit. So I just gotta wait and see if this loads. I see Bulletstorm. So it's loading. It's, it's booting. It's booting up. And it shows up on the screen. Okay. So let me see if... Well, let me change the resolution. Fourteen forty. Yep. Hi, hi, hi. Okay. So it does show up, right? If you lose, do you got to start all over again? What do you mean, lose? Uh, well, I gotta, I gotta check to see. I gotta, ch I gotta change the frame rate for sure, because that is not gonna work. Um, aim assist. Nope, don't want that. Nope, don't want that. Nope. No, wait, nope, definitely want that. Uh, controls. Crouch on toggle. Look conversion, nope. Sensitivity, we'll deal with that in a bit. But the game is running at 60, so my mouse is slower than it should be. We'll deal with that. Crouch, yes, I want to crouch toggle. Uh, audio, that's fine. All right. So I'm going to quit, and now I'm going to try to do the... Oh, did I lose? Uh, so the 70-man battle, yes, I believe if you lose, you've started all over again. Or I think it has checkpoints. Um, honestly, I don't recall. I, I think there are checkpoints. Like when you reach a... Because like every 25 or 30 people, there's like a boss character. And I think once he's triggered, if you lose to him, it'll reset you back to that fight. So let me try and do this frame rate uh, modification. So I definitely want to get that done. Uh, hmm. Documents, my games, bullet storm, storm game. Config storm engine dot i n i. All right, open that up. Ooh, that is all gibberish. Oh, I need to download some bullet storm i n i editor. Because it's encrypted. Okay. Okay. So I just need to download something else. See, there's always with the PC, there's always a way to get around these things. Because uh, I, I want to, because I'm running the games at 144 hertz with my uh, refresh rate. So I definitely don't want to have the game stuck at 60 because that's going to cause input lag. And I don't want that. Because that's bad. But the good thing, Chris, since I beat the game, it did, uh, it did unlock the 70-man battle, so I can play it at any time I want. So 
That's cool. Just like the Dreamcast. I, I thought maybe it was something that they didn't do. Or that they, did, they didn't include. So that's nice if they, they put it in there. All right, so I and I editor, yes. Get rid of that. And what do I do with this? Open. My games, bullet storm, storm game, config, storm engine. There we go. All right, so me console player caveman, me no understand input lag, <laughs> me play it five FPS. Oof, that is rough, caveman. That is rough. All right, uh, change, change max smooth frame rate to higher cap. Alternatively, remove the frame rate cap entirely by setting B smooth frame rate to false. Okay. Now we just gotta look for it. Um, ooh, all right, that's not good. Uh, B, B smooth frame rate. Here we are. All right, let's change that to false. Yes, save that. Okay. Gonna make some food? Cool, yeah. Do what you gotta do, Chris. Okay, thank you for stopping by tonight, dude. All right, let me give that another whirl and see if that helps with the frame rate. All right. All right, controls, keyboard mouse settings, WSAD, yep, space, kick is E, reload R, swap V, leash is Q, right mouse button, yep, charge shot C, fire, crouch, blood symphony, all right, we'll figure that out. All right. See, uh, see if this works. Yeah, we'll leave it on normal. Prologue, Chapter One: On the Road to Hell. Press E to kick enemies or objects. Uh, shift Tab. What was that? I wish I could see the FPS on here. Oh, man. It'd be nice to see how much it's running at. But I, I can get a feel for it with my eyes, but I should have... I should have set the, uh... NVIDIA to, to learn it. All right, we'll see. Just, just 
Calm down. You got this all wrong. Just, just listen to me. Here, have another drink, Gray. It'll help your aim. Please, please. Here, use my die. gun. I keep the sight a few inches left the target. Nice. Challenge yourself. Oh my God, that's Steve Bloom. The sooner you answer our questions, the better the odds we don't miss a bottle. Okay, stop. Stop. Okay, please. Right, that's too sensitive. Lower that down a bit. All right. Yep. Airlock safety's released. Third bounty hunter this week. Toronto is stroking one hell of a murder boner, man. Let's go loot a few Confederate ships. Earn our bounty. Spike Spiegel. Crouch ship. So space is run. Is there a jump button? Come on, Gray. Let's go. You always know I got I gotta explore and see what's going on. We going here? So it seems the stream is not capturing it at sixty FPS. It's running capturing it at thirty. It could be a limitation of the the game engine that it's not running as smooth as it should. Because again, the engine is capped. So unfortunately, it seems while well, I'm seeing it at full full res, but the stream won't. It's unfortunate. What you looking at? Let's go. I'm just going to keep drinking. That sucks that the stream isn't at 60. It's a real shame. Touch crumbles into dog shit. Your mom survived <laughs> barely. Spike Spiegel I talking. How the old gal got that limp. Here. 
It'd be nice. Oh, show me you care. Step aside, Doc. I'll deal with it my way. Ah, oh, here we go. Shoot it. So, which one of you shitheads left an over grenade on the bounty hunter? Ray, we're compromised here. I'm warping. Go for it. I'll be right up. Hey, who's left on this ship? Nope. But there is paint in the storage bay. Ray, we've got trouble. I need new deck side. Now! Any collectibles here that I should know about? Get to the bridge. I wonder. Because I'm going into this game totally blind, so I don't know if there's any collectibles to be had. But that's why you explore. Engine crash. Impulse monitor. No system connection. Hardware devices need repair. You must manual check or repair main system hardware devices. You know, the field of view is pretty... Eh, I'll have to see how it is, but it seems pretty tight right now. I suppose I could fix that, too. Attention, everybody, Captain on deck. I was following leads on Back, were you able to unlock it to more than 60 FPS? I was, but on the stream, I, I don't think it's showing at 60, it's running at 30. So it's probably a limitation of the game engine. Because even though I'm unlocking it on my end, on OBS's side, it's not translating. Christmas come early, boys. We got us some mass murder and piece of shit out there waiting on us to deliver some reparation. We're with you, Gray. Serrano hung us all out to dry. I ain't dry no more. No, you're drunk. Again. We won't last 15 <sighs> seconds. You've lost your nerve, Ishii. I honor my oath to serve you, despite your recklessness. But this... I will not die for your revenge, Gray. Our revenge. Ulysses wants to open a communication channel. <laughs> Arm forward cannons. I'm used to these frames. <laughs> it just it's not playing like that on my end. It's playing smooth. This um not sure why OPS isn't showing it. It should. But again, sometimes the, the certain game engines don't translate with OBS, so it's possible that that's the reason. I gotta blow shit up.
He's dead. It's just funny how Steve Bloom is in every game. Ten fathoms deep on the road to hell. Right, so this is a FMV. This is running at thirty. So this was just a shitty console port, which is why it's not optimized. That's unfortunate. This guy's a dick. He's a drunk dick, yeah. So I'm guessing that's the... End of the game, maybe, because now it's bringing you back in time. Your fancy new gravity boots make assassination time fun, Doc. Glad you like them. One should take no joy in killing. We are soldiers, not assassins. So what? You just maybe need like a softer title, Ishi? Is that it? How about uh, disagreeable persons disposal unit? You're pushing me, Ralph. No, but if I was gonna, this would be the place to do it. Hmm. Oh, that's an interesting visual style, though. I do remember them saying that, like, the color palette was very, for its time, very vibrant. So you can see how, well, I don't know how good you can see it, but, like, the floating cars, they're very simplistic in, uh, in polygons. To be expected, of course. But yeah, Chris, what'd you end up getting to eat? All right, let me walk this way. I guess they're gonna follow me. Ah, uh, here we go. Alright, so it wants me to kick the elevator, but I just want to see if there's anything... I don't know if this game has any collectibles, to be honest. It may. It may not. Honestly, I'm always on the lookout for collectibles. It's just how I am. Proceed to the infiltration point. Let's do it. Assassinate Bryce Novak. Okay. Well, this is a whole 180 from Shenmue, I'll tell you that. Rice, beans, and scrambled some eggs. Nice. What, what, the, what time is it with you, Chris? I assume you're on a different, uh, different time frame for me. Sounds like a winning deal. Check your goddamn email. 
What are you doing on here? What am I looking at? Every hit we've done. We've been killing innocent people. Novak was a reporter. Just finished an article on Serrano's corruption. Get Serrano on the line. General Serrano, I have a... What the fuck you calling me for, ass maggot? Okay. Are you calling me from the job site? You ignorant piece of shit! Shut the fuck up! Answer me a question. These people... Have you had us killing innocent civilians? What in the name of sweet Mary Mother of Christmas did you think you were doing out there all this time? You namby pamby cocksucks! Unfortunately not, my friend. 1.56 a.m. Oh, shit. You told us the targets were guns. You're having a, uh, a late, late one. Traitors, mass murderers. Yeah, I lied. So what? Who did we just kill? Novak. Held incriminating evidence against you. And mind you, I'm jealous. I, I could go for a meal right now. Jump to the side systems. Outside Confederate jurisdiction. I don't think we're gonna get off this planet, Grayson. Here we go. Oh my god. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. It's okay. We're not going to hurt you. You're going to be fine. She's gonna kill him. Oh. Ishii, stay with the girl! It's like a like a Michael Bay movie. It does look like a, a gun from Gears of War. To Ishii. All right. Not the healthiest thing, but I have nothing else unless I order food. And yeah, my schedule has been messed up since I stopped working. I'm waking up at like 3, 4 p.m. and I don't go to sleep until 6, 7 a.m. Oh man, that is rough. That is rough. I thought I was bad. <laughs> Going to sleep like a three. But uh, man. You know, it's uh, it's what happens when you no longer have a semblance of a daily schedule. It really does uh, put a number on on what you do. I'd love to replay Gears of War. Such a great series. Yeah, I, so I had an Xbox 360. So the last Gears of War I played was three. Uh, no, three. And then there was one that came out after. Was it Judgment? The one that was the the side story with Baird. I played that. 
four and five I haven't because I didn't have Xbox One. I didn't get them on PC. Um, so one day, one day. All right, where do I need to go here? Yeah, he's done. Ugh, damn it! He's roasted. Snap out of it quickly. Get him to the infirmary, Doc. Is he gonna just go? All right, so this means there's gonna be enemies here. So there's no jumping here. Okay. That's gonna take a little bit to get used get used to. What you looking at? Let's go. That thing's hanging by a thread. Need to get the hell off your ship. You're not leaving Ishii. Not if there's any chance we can save him. Okay, okay. If Doc thinks we can do something. I need you to fix it, Doc. All those cyber patch jobs you did on the field. There I must can replace be... fingers and limbs. But look at him, Gray. Half his body is crushed. At least try. Damn, look at his... One of us. His arm is just hanging by a thread. Maybe I could. But I'd need a charged fusion cell to power the bio -weld. Ah, been out of him for months, Doc. Let's go. I only played one through three. Heard that four and five were okay. Yeah, I heard that. Um, well, not heard, but obviously they got rid of the locusts, so it's like robots and stuff now. Not really sure. Field hospital operation in progress. Let's get him on that table, huh? Engines will have cells. Yes, sirree. Let's go, Ralph. Our boy's time is short. Just keep him alive. Be right back. All right, so we're going to have some enemies here, of course. I want to be candid with you, Chief. You made a bad call. Yeah, I know. What else is new? Wait, did you hear that? Loud goddamn banging? Yeah. I keep thinking that shift is run, but it's not the case. Tap space slide, okay. Oh. 
Just run an interference, Doc. Killing as fast as we can. Kill fast, shithole. Get the work done. There's no, like, ammo count either. That's weird. Yeah, I wonder how you keep track of ammo. That is so weird. One of Serrano's new squad. That clown? He's dead. Final echo. Elite. Don't look too elite now, does he? Rumors were true. Final echo are using leashes. I thought instinct moderated weapons were outlawed. Yeah, they were. Well, obviously the leash you can use. I remember that from the trailers. Teabag them. <laughs> I should. I may have to change because using control to run that just doesn't sit well with me um, what is shift Do you shift anything no All right run slide yeah I'm gonna switch that to shift because I'm so used to uh, so used to doing that in any game. Left shift. And let me there we go. All right. Much better. Hey, man, if that's gunpowder, we need it. So pull up your skirt and strap that dildo on. <laughs> Ooh, nice toy. Let's try it out. Feel this thing talking to me. Oh, super boss, real happy for you. Now, can you make yourself useful and pop open the hood on this pod? Hot damn. Grab one of those fusion cells. All oh, right, thanks. I'm just a waterhead. I forgot why I done marched out here. So this is a very linear game. I like the sense of humor in this game. It's it's night and day from Shenmue. There's uh, no doubt about that. Go. 
It's a very, very bro-friendly game. Those physics, man. I can't imagine Rio saying dildo. I, I don't either. But maybe he learned some things in China, you know? You never know. So no life bars, this is just like Call of Duty, just instant heal. I just wait till I heal. So even on my machine, the game is like stuttering just a little bit. It just shows that the, the game was just a bad port. It's not optimized well for uh, for systems, so. Unfortunately. I'm all out of blood bags. One more minute, he's gone. You hear me? We're here. Hold tight. Ishi's lucky I got so much love for him. Not many other folks I do this for. Doc, I'll fix him, Rel. You'll see. Something's gonna go horribly wrong. Doc, you gotta hurry. We might be looking at visitors. Doc! Doc! Behind you! In the room! Get up! Procedure in progress. Damn, it ain't gonna happen. Procedure in progress. No! Boss! They're coming through the vents! We gotta cover Ishii, man! Come on! Just boom, 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 all over. I have to admit, one thing I did like about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 was that it had a health bar. Oh, they're about to kill him. Oh, there's a red thing, so I'm going to shoot it, of course. Boom. 
just like the old days. Oh, Call of Duty World War Two. Okay, I haven't played that one. Uh, I I actually stopped at uh, at Ghosts. Um, so I I need to pick up with Black Ops Two, and going forward after that. Just uh, never had them because by that time I had moved on to PC, and unfortunately, the Call of Duty games never go on sale on PC. They're always way overpriced, so I just never. Uh, was able to catch up. Moving backwards during a slide will end it. Okay. So this is a very linear game. Help. Help me. Please. The pain. Easy. Thank God you're alive. Injured in the attack. Doc had to patch your brain with the robot's bioprocessor. You're gonna have trouble getting used to it, but uh, it, it, it's it's like an amputation. I'm gonna help you, okay? You, you are going to help me. I am having a difficult time seeing how you can help me. Your drunken thirst for revenge just killed our crew. I'm... I'm sorry. You're sorry. You're sorry? Ishii, listen to me. The bioprocessor. You can't let it take control. You just can't let that happen. I'm going to kill you, Gray. I see no logical reason not to. That is a final echo instinct leash. Yeah. So what? The communication lock. Open it. Mute the mic. Repeat. All final echo survivors report positions. Prisca, this is Serrano. I'm alive, but stuck on some damned hotel rooftop. Shake that sweet little can of yours. Locals are congregating. I'm in the shit here and need some help. Any other echo survivors switch to tracker zero in on my location. I'm off to guard the general downtown. Serrano. Motherfucker is here. That's the voice of uh, the girl from Assassin's Creed, uh, the hacker girl. That son of a whore. If he's here, rescue jump ships will be here soon. Process that chance of survival. Can you track the woman? Yeah, got it. We find that broad. We can track her to Serrano we and use the general to get off world. Killing him is counterproductive. I know how important it is for you to help me. Yeah, of course. I wasn't thinking of killing him. We get to him, get you off world. I know some black level bioengineers. We can get you fixed up, Ishii. I swear it on my mother. Then if I expire, you have failed your last bid for redemption. Yes, so. The battery cell within this warbot is low. If I do not charge it within 30 minutes, I will die. The freak jobs that attacked us got a large cluster of them southeast of here. They gotta have some power cells. Then I will follow you this one last time. Pay attention. There are many volatile components amid the debris. Like my friends, they can tell voice actors and actresses by just their voice. Um, yeah. Oh, what's your name? Rebecca, I think, in Assassin's Creed. She's like the hacker girl for, uh, for the assassins. Uh, she first appeared in Assassin's Creed 2, I'd like to say. That's definitely her, Trisk Trishka. You know what? I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. Let me look it up. It, it has to be her. Uh, so let's see, IMDB, Bulletstorm. It has to be her. There is no... No way, it's not. Uh, cask. Jennifer Hale. Trishka Novak. Oh, so Jennifer Hale is, um, what is she? She's in Overwatch. She's, uh, the, the girl with the, the gun, sniper gun. Not, not, uh, not Widowmaker, but the cowboy looking one. 
Uh, she was Commander Friendship in Mass Effect. If it's not her from Assassin's Creed, she really sounds like her, though. It really does sound like her. But Jennifer Hale has done a lot of a lot of voices. Uh, let me see. She's also Chronica in Mortal Kombat 11. Ash from Overwatch, that's her name. Just, I, I stopped playing Overwatch, so I don't, I'm not familiar with their names. Uh, hmm. She was in Halo 5. She's Sarah Palmer. Oh, Bioshock Infinite. She's one of the Lutes twins, the uh, the twins in those games. Okay. Maybe that isn't her in Assassin's Creed, but goddamn, that does sound like her. I guess I was wrong. Bulletstorm. So Bulletstorm is 2011. So it's nine years ago. Hmm. Man, she really sounds like her there, though. I guess not. Okay. I was wrong. But obviously it is Jennifer Hale. Let me just double check. Jennifer Hale. Assassin's Creed. Does not seem... Nope. Okay. Never mind. I was wrong. But it's, at the very least, it is Jennifer Hale, so she is a, a recognized voice there. Yeah, I remember her character. She was funny. Okay. My bad. I was wrong. Roger. All right. So, well, this game is rather linear. So, you know what? I'll do one more chapter and then call it a night. This does seem like a short game, though. And it's very video gamey, telling you what to do at all times. How does it look? Because it's running at 30. Is it just like super choppy or is it manageable? It really sucks that it's not playing at full speed. I'm going to have to see if I can tweak OBS or if there's like a specific setting for this game. I'm sure there probably is to help it run a little bit better. At least on the stream side. For me it's running fine. No. It is Confederate, though. The Marquis Day 2 operation logs from over a year ago. <laughs> you just know Serrano is up to some shit here. It's good. Nothing bad. Okay. It just looks bad to me because I'm not used to frame rates being that terribly low.
pause is where you start getting the points. The Confederation will recognize impressive kills as skill shots to view all possible skill shots. Press N now to access the skill shot database. Kill an enemy by kicking him against the surface. Kill an enemy by flinging them into a cactus. Kill an enemy by flinging them into a sharp metal object. Kill an enemy who is on fire. Kill one or more enemies using an environmental explosive. Okay. Not yet available. Use bullets to kill two or more enemies without letting go of the trigger. Get an enemy airborne. Kill a different enemy. Then kill the first before he lands. Kill an enemy with the shot to the head. Oh wait, that means I unlocked them already? Yeah. Green... Hmm. Shot to the head, kick an enemy and shoot him to death in midair. Slide an enemy and shoot him to death in midair. Kill an enemy who was shot to the throat. Kill an enemy by shooting him in the, in the ass. Shoot a running enemy in the legs to trip him. Then finish him off on the ground. Shoot an enemy in the balls and kick or shoot his head off. Jesus. Okay. This cocky leash is grading my performance. It will have further opportunity to mark your efficiency. We are under attack. Execute skill shots to earn skill points. These can be spent in drop kits to buy weapons, ammo, and upgrades. Reconnect to the drop kit now to resupply. Okay. The balls one is kinky. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking weird. Drop ship. So now you have ammo before, which is infinite ammo. That's funny. Uh, I have 1485 skill points. Standard issue military assault rifle features reasonable accuracy and a high rate of fire. Press RMB to aim down the sights, carefully place your shots. Yep. 1485. The leash is a concentrated energy beam which can be used to grab a target and drag them towards user. Even enemies behind cover can be leashed. Okay, so I don't have an upgrade for that. Kill an enemy by flinging them into a sharp metal object. Okay. No, I'm not going to do all of this. Like, the whole point of this playthrough is to just not have to focus about 100%ing. I'm just going to play it and enjoy it for what it is. Alright, so blue means it's active. Green check mark means I've done it. That's fine. Shot to the head, yep. Yeah. Shot to the throat. Okay. And I guess these are like text files or something. Secrets. Statistics.
Okay, well, I guess I can get a armor, a weapon upgrade. So let's see. Upgrade maximum ammo capacity by 100. Bulletin clip 50. Alright, well, I can do that. So I have 250 out of 500 rounds. Okay. 160, sure. That's fine. All right. Ooh, cactus. some weapons. Somebody's still shooting. Heal up. Confederate technology. It doesn't make sense. We're in the side quads. No colonies or Confederate troops anywhere near here. Did I shoot him in the ass? <laughs> Pretty sure I did. This game gets you to stay playing for the way you kill enemies. Yep, that's the draw for sure. I think maybe in the size. Uh, all right, so these aren't there. Voodoo doll, kill an enemy by flinging them into a sharp object. Environmental, kill an enemy who is on fire. 
killing anybody, kicking him against the surface. Get an enemy airborne, kill a different enemy, then kill the first before he lands. Enemy in the balls. That's pretty funny. Uh, so... I can't upgrade these. So this is all progressive. Um... Right, 600. That's fine. Elysium Refinery 3. spread radiation neither of us will survive if we linger just like the old days forgive my lack of nostalgia uh, is there any ammo I can grab here yes there is you can't jump in this game though so there's that so suppose the only way I can go it's over here. The Confederation will reward you with skill points for quick reaction to critical events. Prepare to hold right mouse bum to do one now. I've mapped the complex. Only way out is down. It's close quarters in a mining complex. You sure you're up for this kind of fight? I am not. I am not up for any of this. We have no other options. Let's restart the checkpoint. Because I missed something there. I'm not sure what. Box sound. What's up, dude? This is a game called Bullet Storm. Came out uh, way back when. This place is filthy with low spread radiation. Neither of us will survive if we linger. Just so I, days. I beat Shenmu, so lack of nostalgia. I decided to pop in a new game. What's up you, Foxhound? How are you? I've mapped the complex. Only way out is down. It's close quarters in a mining complex. You sure you're up for this kind of fight? I am not. I am not up for any of this. We have no other options. Not sure what exactly you wanted me to look at. That's weird. Let me try that again. This 
place is filthy with low spread radiation. Neither of us will survive if we linger. Just like the old days. Forgive my lack of nostalgia. I've mapped the complex. Only way out is to there it is. close quarters in a mining complex. You sure you're up for this kind of fight? I am not. I am not up for any of this. We have no other options. Oh, I did a let's play of this game. Also, did it with the Duke Nukem skin. Oh, there's a Duke Nukem skin? I had no idea. This is actually my first time playing this, so I am going completely blind. Alright, there's obviously enemies that come out of there. There's without a doubt. So I did get those. I gotta shoot somebody in the ass. That's quite hilarious. I was playing Double Dragon. And the Sacred Stones livestream, it only got the second level. Which, uh, which double dragon is that? I'm trying to, uh, remember. Or is that like the newer one that came out that mimicked the uh, Nintendo graphics? Nothing hidden. I, I keep thinking there's hidden stuff, but. Okay, kicking doors will hurt you. Last train from Explosion Town. You can kick while reloading. That's good to know. What are we looking at here? Pirate uranium mining? No, the construction is too skillful. This is no backworld operation. Whoever co opted this joint, they are getting their deposit money back. Stay focused. We are not safe here. All right. Well, this is another checkpoint, so this is my time to to uh, to exit. Well, there's an interesting taste of what this is, but that's fine. I still have to checkpoint, so that's totally okay. All right. Well, that's not that's. Interesting. Well, it's a different, for sure. But anyways, that is... Uh, Alright, I'll have to obviously change the, the thumbnail in the OBS. It's a bullet storm. And you know what? Since I'm on here, let me do that now, because I will forget. Now, there was a second version of this game called Full Clip Edition. Um which I don't have. That was a, a separate purchase, so I'll have to look up. Um, I'll have to look and see what the differences are, but, you know, again, this is, this is a version I had. So I'll have to find... Let's storm... I'll have to find a good thumbnail. to work with something that has the game logo on it, because that's what I like to do. Bulletstorm. Nope, that's pretty low res. Bulletstorm. 
Go with skill. All right. Could do that. I could use that. And I will save that to Bullet Storm. Logo. I'm pretty sure this is a pretty short game. Uh, Foxhound, what, uh, how long did it take you to beat this? I would imagine this can't be any more than 10 hours. Just my, uh, my guesstimate. All right, so, gonna switch out the Shenmue picture now for Bullet Storm. And now I've got to shrink it down, bring it up a bit. I'll bring it up a little bit more. All right, so you should see it there, but I will actually move it so it's not so close. There we go. Bullet storm. All right. Well, that was a uh, different. I'll have to change it on my YouTube as well. But yeah, thank you guys for uh, for coming on in, checking it out. So Shenmue 1 is complete. Now I am doing Bullet Storm as like an in-betweener. You know, just to not have to worry about crazy, crazy stuff. Just have my mind off and enjoy a simple game. Um, and then I will move on to, well, it's, it's the 20th of April. So Streets of Rage 4 comes out on the 30th, which would be next Thursday. So I'm definitely going to be playing that. So not sure how long it will take me to beat Bulletstorm, but then I'll maybe start Shenmue 2. And then on the 30th, I'll switch to Streets of Rage 4. Because um, I definitely need to play that. What's that game called? Uh, which one? Uh, which, which game? This is Bullet Storm. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it on the... I did change the icon on the bottom of the screen. So you should see it there now in, in place of Shenmue. The one I want, uh, Streets of Rage 4. So that'll be, uh, that's on the 30th of April, I believe, is the date that they gave. So I will definitely get that. Uh, Streets of Rage is another game that I've been playing since the Genesis days, so I definitely need to get that. Um, so depending on how long it takes me to beat Bloodstorm, I can, if it's before the 30th, I can then start Shinmu 2 just quickly. Um, and then, if it's on the 30th, I'll switch to uh, Streets of Rage 4. You never heard of Streets of Rage 4? No way. You never heard of Streets of Rage? It's a, like one of a, a legendary uh, beat-em-up game from Sega back in the Genesis days. So the uh, Streets of Rage 1, 2, 3 were on Genesis, and now number 4 is coming out, uh, finally. So that'll be coming out for the... The uh, Switch, PS4, and PC. I don't think they announced it for Xbox, but I could be wrong. But anyways, uh, thank you, all of you, for uh, for hanging out. And was it an arcade game? No, so Streets of Rage was on the Sega Genesis way back in the day. Um, they did release kind of technically an arcade version of it. It was... Um, Basically, there was a, back in the day, there was like a Genesis arcade machine where you could play Genesis games. So they were just specially formatted Genesis games that had a timer on them. Um, and you would put in a quarter to play for X amount of minutes. But uh, no, it, it, it originally was just a console game. Streets of Rage. A legendary, legendary beat-em-up. Arguably the greatest beat-em-up series of all time. So... 
very cool stuff. Anyways, it's 2.51, so let me call it a night. Thank you, dudes, for hanging out. And I know this is no longer Shedmu temporarily, temporarily, but then I, I will move into Shenmue 2, <clears throat> but I will not 100% it. Uh, I, I just want to go at my pace, and we'll see where that goes. So if you want to hang on for the ride, I'd love to, love to have you. But uh, anyways, yes, uh, you have a good night as well, Chris. Foxhound, um, Buster Gundo, Ryan, Mr. Oso from Periscope. Thank you uh, for coming on by tonight. So be safe. Stay indoors. All right. Catch you later. Peace.